This is a product review of web-appointments.com. This is something I've been using for over three years now, and I'm truly happy with the whole product in general. So with this, you can actually sign up for a free 30-day trial just to see if you actually like it too. So there's no strings attached with that. Um, my account, you can, um, again, your full name, email, and then you can even change your password, do those kind of things. So you have control of a lot of different angles of it. Uh, company details um, of your company, so you can add all those kind of things, and so people can make it available too. And let's go to all users. So I'm, I'm the only one right, right now that has access to my part. And then billing, of course, too. So you can use PayPal even, uh, Visa, MasterCards, those kind of things then. Now to the meat and potatoes part. So we're going to go to my settings. And with my settings, as you can see here, there's many different things you can access. So I even put it for the appointment policy, allowed three massages per month cycle. So with the college that I teach at, um, it's actually free massages. So it seems weird, but um, we just have curtains around the around the massage tables. So I mean, there's privacy, but you're going to be hearing a lot of things. So that's why we do keep it um, free, and the instructors can walk around and check and um, be more accessible to the students. And that's one thing I really love because when I went to massage school, different massage school we had regular massage rooms and so we charged the public but the biggest problem with that is we ha um, we had to go out out the door if we had any kind of questions with instructors so the instructor would not pop in or do anything else like that then so first what I'll do is I'll um, just review and make changes just click here And here you can have the description, what you're actually, what the style of massage, or again, it doesn't have to be just for massage, it can be for other different kind of things too, for booking appointments. And then your policy, you can put all that, so in the email when somebody signs up for a massage, they're going to get that then. And I always just remind them, a thank you message, uh, please write your appointment down, you can check appointments at um, this area too then. And uh, you can make it, ex if you're making changes or anything, you might want to just unclick the public part so nobody can view or access it then. Otherwise, you're just going to click here. And the confirmation required, um, I always like that. So I know who's signing up to. And to receive notification. So when um, you use monitoring um, for the related schedules to receive email notifications for the appointment type. So that's a huge benefit because you can even set it um, how many days prior. So I usually do two days before their scheduled event or a scheduled massage. They're going to get a reminder, and I'm going to put everything in there, um, what I want them to know too. Okay, scroll down. Here, your email address is registered with PayPal, so PayPal statements. So if you're going to charge, um, people can charge that way too and recurring appointments and maximum how many you're always at 50 for your staff so again for your staff when you're they're signing up for things uh, they can sign up for more of course but you can you can change that too so um, people can book many months in advance it is all all depends on how long you set your schedule out for and duration of the um, actual appointment you got 60 minutes here for that number of attendees uh, the number of attendees is um, how many therapists um, are available for those time slots and just go down a little bit and then you can make sure what things are shown and what what are required so if you just require just an email for when they're signing up otherwise you can um, add all this stuff too so phone number mobile phone fax address you name it you can put all that then again you're just gonna update this type and it's all ready and you can at the bottom here there's um, clone from type so you don't have to add any extra stuff then so 
with this, you're gonna click on here and find uh, which one to say this, or but then you're gonna clone it from that then, or you can just start all over all over from scratch. But I myself, I do do clones a lot, but just make sure you check number of attendees it's, if it's gonna be a little bit different for that then. So I'm gonna go to the next schedule. Next page is the schedules part. And then after you're done with this whole appointment type thing, you're going to go to the schedules. And I myself always like to start over totally new. So um, that's the only problem I've ever run into is when I've cloned something, um, then the, the appointments were a little bit um, mixed up. So that's why it's no big deal. You just add a new scheduler or a resource. So you just click that. And then let me just show you ones that I've already done. So review and make changes. So this is for the public. And for this area, the appointment type, that's the first section. And then you go to the section, second section. If you don't do this part, it's not going to be live. So that's why you got to do this and then this then. And make sure this area is the same as over here for the appointment types. Make sure the names are the same. So I got a deep tissue above the waist. So a lot of times I'll just like this, right click, copy. And, and go to the next section here and then again review and make changes because otherwise it's not going to come out right and what's weird about this part is valid until if you're starting a totally new one this one will go one year out so just make sure you you check this to make sure let me bring it up here as so you can see here, so there's only appointments on one day here. It's available right there. So then you just want to update that schedule. And then after that, you can choose what day of the week and make sure you do breaks and everything else too in between if you want. Okay. And then here, all the different um, times so this is how you're going to schedule each appointment then and then I have uh, intervals of 15 minutes all right and that's that's kind of set like that but again you want to put 60 minutes if it's an actual uh, hour-long massage so you just put 60 in there and then you choose the time so let's say there there and then you check there and then you would say add time slot but here it says Thursday, so that's where it's going to go underneath then. But you can easily change those kind of things too when, when those things come up then. But otherwise, if you just backspace, it's no big deal and it's um, it's okay. And then you're going to go to the time off, all this section here. So you can schedule times off um, for the appointment. So let's say um, one week you're available the, the same amount of time. The next week you're taking vacation. And the next week after that is the same schedule. So that's why you would have um, a re scheduled time off then. And then just add new time off schedule here. Click the time off from and then to. And then you always have to have a reason. So okay with that. And then the next section, these are the actual links that you would want to um, either put on your website or email to people. So this is how they check for things. And this is the one that is for all of your appointments. So this is the only run you really need to do and then they can check everything then. So again, that's the easiest way to do that then. And then you can also um, download um, all the stuff too here. So you can just click and download it too. So you can check your schedules that way. And then management, I'm going to click here. And then we just change a little bit. So with this, you're just going to, these are all the schedules that people are scheduled. And I just blocked it out of the names for confidentiality, of course. So we're going to just click on here. And I'll block out these names so you can't see anything there. But that's, you can even flag the appointment as paid for, if they already paid for it, or flag um, as no-show. So if they don't show up, and click to reschedule the appointment, and click to cancel the appointment, too. So that's all the options um, that you can do with that then.
let me just bring it back then and then you can go to even a 14-day planner so you when some um, things are if it's fully booked you can see that way so if you're more visual that way and then you go to registered clients here and then you can search for people's names and everything to them so that's all the options um, you can give with that then okay and then you can even contact them and what I've noticed with their customer support it's basically superior I'd call it just whenever I have any kind of questions they email right back and I just love it so technical support to general or improvements so you can type those kind of things in there and it's going to go to your email um, that you're set up then and there's even a tutorial here so you can check out everything yourself so you can download that as a PDF there's even a blog they have now so there's that's new so any kind of uh, questions or maintenance or anything else okay, go back get help of course and there's even um, for online so you can a um, little bit quicker that way then too so X out of that book now and you can even log out then so so again let me just show you their main page with and it's also instant scheduling let me just log out um, instant scheduling instant desk scheduling sorry um, dot com or web dash appointments dot com so those are the two different things and um, let's just go to sign up one so you're looking for need an online scheduler or you're looking for a professional so you're looking for those kind of things then too. Let me go to web dash appointments dot com. So as little as nine dollars and ninety cents a month. So it's really reasonable. So again, I talked about the free thirty day trials right here. So you can sign up for those kind of things. And again, the free thirty day trial. It's really and then it's also um, you can access it with uh, PC and also Mac and also Linux so those are all the kind of things so pricing um, quarterly plan or if you're gonna play, pay yearly it's be nine dollars ninety um, cents a month then um, set up free technical support free number of appointments unlimited this is um, because some programs have heard about that they charge for so many so that's a pain kind of thing so again unlimited for that numbers of schedules and numbers of users so you can have hundreds if you want especially if you're running a massage clinic it's um, a lot more convenient that way so here's frequently asked questions you can check things out the demo so these are kind of demos um, that people checked out then so this is what it's going to look on their end so they're going to just say select a service and then the person even you can put that and then the dates and times you're gonna check those kind of things so this say I want uh, this time slot and then I'm gonna fill everything out here so the name um, email phone number and then it'll give you a confirmation right away that you signed up for it and then it all depends on if they want to have a confirmation too then they'll send you um, saying your appointment is confirmed but once in a great while, um, I myself, I'd have to check where if somebody's doubled up. So if their name is um, in the same time slot, there's, um, there's the person's name twice. And what happens with that is if they don't log out of their account, because when they're trying to sign up other people's um, uh, massages, because that's the problem with our, for our, um, the way we do things is because our massages are free. Um, one of the friends tries to sign up somebody and then then they try to sign up themselves but they don't log out so that's the biggest problem with that because it kind of remembers those kind of things so it might get doubled up but I just it, you, since you got your their person's email I just email them right away and just check them to make sure that they're not um, accidentally um, doubled up or anything else so you can confirm all those kind of things so if anybody else has used uh, web-appointments.com, uh, let me know in the comments section below. And also if any other um, kind of programs that you guys liked um, in the past or even currently, um, let me know in the comments below too and I'll check them out and you know, I'll look them over. But again, uh, I'm about 99% um, totally satisfied with this company and it's, 
and reasonable too so again really cheap if you do a year so it's again it's nine dollars ninety cents and that's unlimited for everything else so that's um, my review of this and um, again leave your comments in the section below thank you